How's it going, Jay? Pretty good. Cool. Hey, it's Ron with Ron's Computer Videos. We're wrapping up um, Kansas Fest 2022, and I want to take a few minutes to talk to Jay about his cool new game, which is called Xlinger HD. Yeah, Xlinger HD. It's actually quite a bit of fun, and I'll have some footage here in the video uh, so you guys can check it out. And if it seems like it's something that interests you, I definitely recommend that you uh, reach out to uh, Jay and just kind of follow the development as things progress. So tell us a little bit about it. Uh, so with the uh, the Apple II and specifically the 2GS, uh, well, there's this card called the VHD, and it gives you HDMI output um, for any Apple II with a slot, not just a GS. And one of the the main reason for this card is because uh, CRT monitors are getting harder to find, and the developers wanted a way for people to use modern displays with it. Um, but it also gives you very clean output. So if you're into streaming or just like to record um, your uh, video capture, your Apple II, it looks great. But there's also some extended uh, text modes that are that card offers. It was sort of a, a bonus feature that the developer put in, and they basically just give you a high high resolution text. So as the regular text mode is 40 by 24 and 80 by 24, the VidHD has um, 80 by 45, 120 by 67, and 240 by 135. So I thought it might be fun to try to learn some more um, assembly language. At the same time, see if I can make uh, some kind of a game with the one of the text modes because the 240 by 135 is so small that you almost have, um, it's almost like a graphics mode made out mm -hmm. of letters instead of just you know text. Yeah. And you'll definitely see uh, all that as part of the game footage, but um, j <laughs> Jay was really nice to cover this with us here, but definitely go to the uh, Kansas Fest uh, stream that'll pop up on YouTube maybe here in a week or so uh, that, and watch this session and it goes really in depth into the development of the game. Um, uh, and then also this also takes it, not it only takes advantage of VidHD, but also takes advantage of another card that was right. a recent kind of development for the community. Right, yes, uh, it's the SNES Max, um, not something I developed, uh, developed by Alex Lucas, I think I'd say his last name, and um, it lets you use uh, Super Nintendo controllers with any Apple II with slots. And for a two-player game on the Apple II, um, there's really no built-in way to have two controllers, there has to be sure. some kind of card or mm -hmm. adapter, um, but this is great because you know there's 12 buttons and on each controller, so it works for games that need lots of buttons and yeah. two-player. Yeah, because the original Apple II controller is basically it's set up for paddles where you've got, right. a, so you got a potentiometer moving like X, Y, and then you've got player one has a button and player two has a button and that's really kind of it. Right. So, yeah. so this leverages and lets you access more buttons and things that your game takes advantage of. Yep. Cool. All right. Hey, let's check out some footage.
So Jay, I'm really excited about it. I, I can't wait to keep following the development of this and I can't wait for it to come out. And uh, I guess I'm gonna need to go ahead and budget and pick up a vid HD. Yeah, you should, it's, it's fun. I mean, the card's useful for other stuff and mm -hmm. I hope, um, you know, I'm kind of a beginner at both assembly language and game development, mm -hmm. but um, I'm hoping some someone else takes a, a look and gets inspired and, you know, also makes some software for it because it's, it's kind of fun to use a new, um, it's like having a new video mode for the Apple II, so. Absolutely. Thanks again for taking a couple minutes to talk with me. I know you've been busy here at the convention and uh, I, I'm just excited to see where this goes and you know, lots of uh, hopes for success and stuff in the future. Thanks. So, thanks. All right. We'll, uh, we'll talk to you next time.